What's up guys? Thanks for clicking. Uh, ben here with another video. Today we're going to take the Maverick Phantom XB. Um, when I did this unboxing, um, it had the wrong connector on the car. I came with a Tamiya connector. I only had a 7.2 volt nickel uh, NIMH battery. So today we're back. I've got a, today we're back. I've got a 2S in the Mav. And uh, I'm just going to see what it does on 2S. Just for a bit of a speed test information. So without further ado, let's get him on the road and find out what he does. Okay, we're tracking, we're starting. We're gonna pick up the right controller. We're recording. Place you on the road. Hope you're okay there, guys. Oh. So, I've gotta say, I like this car, guys. I think it looks cool, look. It looks cool, it looks like a buggy, and it's cheap. It's under 100 and 110 pounds. And, uh, yeah, I think it's all right. But I don't know how fast it is. Tracking's a bit off. But as I've got no way of adjusting the tracking, there's not a lot I can do with that. Okay, that's flat out, guys. Ah, oh, and it's rolled over in a ditch. It's rolled over in a ditch! So, I don't think it's going to be very fast. <laughs> so, it was on a... We had it on a 7.2 volt the other day. And it did 16 miles an hour, although it wasn't fully charged. But I mean, that's it. In the ditch again. Oh, it's coming out this time though. Bit of off-roading. Let's see what we got, shall we? Stop. Read 20 mile an hour. Oh, 20 mile, oh, that did not seem like 20 mile an hour. 20 mile an hour is not bad. Can you see 20 mile an hour? Sun's a bit shiny. Um, that's not bad, really. 20 mile an hour off a 2S battery. It's only a little 2S battery as well. Um, it's only a 20, 20C, I think. I think this is a good little buggy, guys. I wonder if it takes 3S. Um, I've seen people put 3S in the MT and it not end well. But hey, it doesn't say on the box we can't put 3S in it. So, why not? Okay, guys. Ooh, that was a bit closer than you wanted to be. Okay, guys, I've got this 3S battery. It's only a little 3S battery. Should we plug it in and see if it explodes? <laughs> If I could keep the camera straight. Okay, got this little 3S battery. Should we plug it in? See what happens. Okay. Let's try. Okay, guys, it's got a 3S battery in it now. It seems to still be working. I'm just going to do a couple of quick passes. Track, start, oh no, push stop, oh yeah. Okay, it's a hot day as well, so you know, obviously the motor's gonna love it. Um, so let's do, let's do a couple of quick passes. I hope the motor doesn't catch fire. I don't wanna go too far in case it catches fire. Don't try this at home, guys. It definitely doesn't take 3S. But I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing it for my, t my family of noobs and anyone else who might be watching. Oh no! It's okay, I saved it.
bit of off-roading not that you can see it one more pass just one more time whatever went wrong from anyone saying just one more time eh lots I would imagine Okay, let's bring him in. Run the phone over, why not? Okay, let's see what we got on 3S. 30 mile an hour. I gotta say guys, I mean, 30 mile an hour is a lot better, that's better than 20. Um, 10 mile an hour for a 3S battery though. Hmm, I'm pretty sure that the older WL toys do that out of the box with a 2S battery. All right, they're probably, they're probably lighter. Uh, and let's be honest, this is definitely not, not designed for a 3S battery. But let's bring her in. Let's take the top off her. Do you know what, guys? The motor's quite cool, look. I well, know I only ran it two or three times up there, and it's only a small 3S battery, but I reckon if you were just doing a couple of speed runs, you'd probably get away with that. Not in the sun. My eyes in the sun, either. Ugh. Okay guys, that's it for this one. Uh, just a quick video, just because just I didn't get to do it the other day. I just want to let you know what the, what the Maverick XB did on the 2S battery. We found it was 20 mile, 20 mile an hour, 20 mile an hour, 21 mile an hour. Whatever it was, it was faster than the XT anyway, which is good to know. Um, and then obviously, just a little quick run on 3S there. It seemed to handle 3S all right, to be fair. Don't get me wrong, nowhere says you can run this car on 3S batteries, so run it at your own risk if you do. But it seemed to work okay for me. I got 30 mile an hour out of it, which is not bad, but for the sake of risking destroying your car, I'd probably just leave it on the 2S guys and just uh, enjoy it on 2S. It's a nice little beginner buggy. I like the looks of it. It handles well. Seems to go on the mud and stuff quite well. I'll do a video of it off-road and we'll do a video, sort of a bit of a durability video on it a bit later on and see how it goes. But for now, quite happy with it to be fair it's a nice little beginner cheap buggy um i mean some aluminium parts i'm not sure if i've done that video yet but you can get aluminium parts for these cars they're just called a different name um so i'll do a video on that soon as well we could make it into a little awesome buggy what do you reckon guys should we make it into a good buggy anyway <laughs> thanks for watching um if you enjoyed this video or if you enjoy anything else i do please hit the bell give me a like and most importantly subscribe and you feel warm inside Thanks guys, see you in the next one.